Hello everybody, my name is Dan, and I have a little book here that I've created. Actually, I've edited and reissued. It's based on a 1961 book that is really quite fascinating. The name of this is right here, Who's Who in the Kitchen? And the edition, you can see the picture of the capital there. This has a little story behind it, which is kind of interesting. Um, back in the 80s, I used to go to a little donut shop near my house on Sundays. And I went there with my wife and my son, my little son. And uh, my son started befriending this elderly couple uh, that was over there. And uh, it turned out that he was uh, quite a very uh, illustrious fellow. Um, back in the 20s and 30s, he had been involved in the Congress of Industrial Organizations, Samuel Gompers, the precursor to our modern unions and so forth. Washingtonian, lived in a very nice house and uh, down in Georgetown. And uh, as a result of, of those many little donut uh, shop sessions, we came to know this couple quite well. Now, they were in their 80s at that time, and um, shortly before the last time we saw them, uh, this gentleman, by his name is Fred, he brought this book and all the pages to it and everything else, uh, Who's Who in the Kitchen. And he uh, gave it to me, and he signed the rights to the book over, and, I, and he said, with this book, I made uh, millions of dollars, and uh, I, I went in and I asked him all about it, and it turns out it was available in all of the hotels and uh, restaurants and tourist destinations all over Washington, D.C. back in the 60s, and um, this is apparently how the guy had made his, uh, his fame and fortune. So I, I looked through it. I thought it was interesting. I put it aside. But years later, I took it out again and took a look at it. And I realized this was really pretty interesting. Because this was put out together with what they called the Gold Star Wives Organization. This was a military support organization uh, that sent care packages and so forth over to the troops in the Korean and Vietnam Wars. And before that as well in World War to, and um, they had gone around to all the wives of the senators and congressmen and so forth of the time and asked them for their own personal family recipes. And as a result, we ended up with not just senators and the presidents and the congressmen, uh, their, their actual family recipes that they enjoyed, uh, they served, they made for themselves, but... Um, but we also had uh, celebrities, the Hollywood uh, set that came out to Washington at the time. And it really made some really, really very interesting reading because these weren't your usual recipes that were just um, <clears throat> mimeographed off and handed off as uh, fan bits. But these were the actual recipes that they, uh, these people made. It was mostly women back at a time when the you know, wives were you know, still mostly in the home and mostly cooking, doing the cooking or supervising the cooking. And um, so, I mean, th there's just so many interesting little pieces in here. Here's, um, it's got all the representatives, uh, all the senators of the time, even uh, ambassadors, all of the Washington uh, you know, glitterati of the day. And uh, it, it's just fascinating stuff. I, I'll give you an example of a few of them here. Here's, you may have remembered uh, Eugene McCarthy. Well, here's uh, Abigail McCarthy his wife, uh, and this is her recipe for wild rice with chicken livers, of all, all things. And it, it's very detailed. It gives exactly how you're going to do it, all the little pieces that, you know, exactly that you would need, Tab tablespoon, sherry, salt, pepper, garlic powder, brown chicken livers and butter, add onions and mushroom, cook for five minutes. These were real, this is food they actually made. This is not just something they pulled out. And it's got a lot of the wonderful little Art Deco uh you know, uh, drawings and designs that are t so typical uh, of the 60s produced by the, uh, the artist who is employed for this. 
And uh, here's Walter Mondale back when he was uh, a senator. You know, Joan Mondale's uh, does Walter F. Mondale's chocolate upside down cake. How about that? There you go. It's right there at the bottom. You see that, I think. And uh, it goes on and on. There's um, Stuart Symington. Remember him from Missouri? Here's his corn pudding uh, recipe, right? Um, and uh, and not only that, it, and here's, it doesn't have chief justices of the time. Uh, here's uh, Nina Warren, chief justice of the, uh, the wife of the chief justice, Earl Warren. United States Supreme Court, devil's food cake of all things. Um, here's Mercedes Douglas's charcoal steak recipe for just uh, William O. Douglas justice. Um, and it just goes on and on and on. Um, it's got everything in here. Uh, remember John Connolly, the guy who was... Uh, Injured in the Kennedy assassination, governor of Texas, crusty cornbread. Um, it just goes on and on. Uh, and here's Harold Taswell, ambassador of South Africa, going curried South African rock lobster, and it's a real thing. This is this is produced by their mostly by their wives, um, in many cases. Um, it also has some of the, the, the stars of the day in there. There's uh, Sophia Loren is in there, uh, Art Linkletter, <laughs> Red Skelton, Judy Garland. Uh, you may remember the deep-voiced Hale Boggs of the time. Here's Corinne Boggs' recipe for shrimp a la Creole. And many of these are annotated. They've got little little bits and pieces here. here uh, you remember... Uh, Richard Raudabush of, Indi of Indiana, sweet sour asparagus. asparagus. Um, so it's, it's a really, really cool thing. Here's, here's Virginia Rusk, uh, wife of Dean Rusk of Vietnam fame, when he was Secretary of the State, Minist Minestrone a la Milanese, uh, and also has the military folks in here. Here's uh, Barbara Zucker, wife of uh, the Secretary of the Air Force. Eugene M. Zucker, Cheese Charmers. Um, and it, it really goes on and on. You remember Robert S. McNamara? Remember Margaret Mac McNamara? Well, here's her recipe, beef bourguignon, the way she makes it. And uh, as I said, many of these are annotated with some little curiosities in here uh, that make it really very readable. Uh, Nathan Twining. Um, it goes on. Lucille Ball is in here. Uh, uh, remember uh, Corinne Boggs, as I mentioned before, uh, uh, John Chafee, you probably remember him, he was a senator, um, and many of these, are, this is the wives, Elizabeth Fulbright, a Fulbright scholarship fame, and her husband, uh, the ambassadors uh, are involved here, Dinah Shore, her, she was a big Washington, uh, Georgetown party set person. Uh, Martha Shriver, <laughs> I mean, it goes on and on. Um, uh, Loretta Young, remember her? Yeah, she was she hung out in the deep among the D.C. crowd back then as well. Um, uh, it has Eisenhower's recipes in here. It's a great little piece, and uh, it makes. I've, I've gone back and I've, I've re-annotated it. I've um, reset it so that it's easier to read. Um, and I have it for sale. Uh, remember George Wallace, of all people? Here's Ler Ler Lerlene Wallace, and this is her West Indies salad. This is long before he was sh shot and crippled, if you remember. So uh, it really goes on and on. Uh, there's just so much in here, and it really is so interesting. And I, 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 I very much... Uh, hope that this is something people will enjoy. Now, in the spirit of the original uh, documents, I have decided to uh, make a contribution to the Military Order of the Purple Heart for every sale of this book that comes through, and um, I um, am going to give you the places where you can buy it. You can either buy a Kindle edition, if you like, 
Um, at the bottom of the screen, you're going to see the links, and I'm also going to put it in the comments section. You can buy the full color version, a little bit more pricey. Um, you can buy a black and white hard copy version for $12.99, and you can get the Kindle version for, uh, I believe it's now a $9.99. Very simple. Makes great reading. Would be a wonderful um, Father's Day gift for your baby boomer dad. And uh, I highly recommend uh, you take a look at it. It's, it's a lot of fun. It takes you back to an era that was very different from our own. And these recipes were the real, real deal uh, because uh, they were providing them for the Gold Star Wives organization for the support of our troops. So take a look. And, uh, you know, if you have any interest in buying it, or by all means, come on by and buy yourself a copy. I think you'll love it. So, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.